Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're looking at Mitch Cashmar's Dirty Deal on an A harmonica. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoy today's lesson, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get free harmonica lessons every single week. So today we're looking at one of my favourite harp players, Mitch Cashmar, and we're playing on an A harmonica in first position. We're playing up the top end of the harp, and I think Mitch is one of the best around, the best for my money, the best I've heard. Let me know if you've heard someone better. That top end stuff, no one sounds quite like him. The way he plays through the changes, and the tone he gets, the vibrato he gets on those top notes, all seven to 10. I just think he, he's unrivaled from what I've heard. So I'm gonna try and give you an insight into what he's doing the best I can with my limited ability to, to do what he does. But uh, the song is a great tune called Dirty Deal. And he plays a lovely solo at the start of the song and at the end of the song. So in today's YouTube lesson, we're going to be looking at the solo at the start of the song. It's an absolute corker. But if you'd like to learn that and the second solo, so you've got everything he plays in the song, then I have a premium lesson. And you can follow the link beneath the video to find out more about that. If you enjoy my premium lessons, you can become a member of my members zone on my website at learntheharmonica.com and that gives you access to all of my premium lessons and tabs and that's a growing collection because I'm putting up a new premium lesson every single week. That costs just $19.99 a month and if you sign up for a yearly membership then you save two months for absolutely free as well. There's a link beneath the video to find out more about that. So let's hear the opening solo from Dirty Deal. I'm just going to stick the record on and then we're going to uh, break it down into lines. So here we go, let's have a listen. I mean, I just don't think there's anyone who plays it quite like that. Just gorgeous. Okay, so straight in from the start. There's no little uh, precursor to the, to the harp solo. It's just straight in with that. Okay, so let's have a listen to line A slowed down to 50% speed for you. Okay. So we've got a uh, 10 blow, and for my money, starting on a semitone bend, coming up, and then going down to a full step bend. So that little first kind of scoop is just from kind of the middle of the bend, so a semitone bend. The full, full uh, bend on a 10 is a full step, a tone. So semitone that releases and then goes down more to a full. And then nine blow semitone up and down again. I think of it as a bell curve because it's kind of up and down like that. Anyway, um, and then eight blow, seven blow. Okay, so. And uh, um, something happened then that is really common when you're practicing these blow bends if you kind of blow a little bit too hard, which I did. Um, you get loads of spit stuck in there. I'm full of cold at the minute, so that doesn't help. Um, so I had to just free up that read, but... Excuse me. Okay. So that's line A, and then on to line B. Okay, so. So, 
I've put this, it, it's got a lovely rhythmic ba da 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 ga do da 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 It kind of, for me, alternates almost a little chordal. I put it six and seven. Like that. So just a little, it's like a percussive out-breath. It's not like he's playing the notes as much as just t just kind of forcing the air out. Okay, so I've put six, seven blow. Uh, I've put in brackets because it's just that kind of rhythmic thing. And then eight blow bend, and then back to that six, seven, and then eight blow bend up and down. So again, that kind of bell curve. So. And then seven blow. And then little draw, I think it's a draw, six, seven draw, which would make sense because everything else is a blow and then he's about to play a quite a long seven blow. So he's just giving himself a little, a little draw breath. So, okay, so. And he gets a gorgeous vibrato on that seven blow. I don't know how he does it. One day I'm going to interview him and ask him. Um, okay, so line B in full. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think, by the way, because I, I just think it's, it's gorgeous. Let me know what you think of his playing. Okay, so let's get on to line C now. I'll just play that for you. I'm playing these all 50% speed on the record now, by the way, just to make it easier to hear. So the way he uses those different semitones on hole 10, the, he gets them so cleanly. Okay, so line C, we've got... So, 10 blow, semitone bend that releases, and then back to that semitone bend, and then 9 blow, a little bit of a scoop on that 9 from the bend upwards, and then the bend on 9 again, 8 blow, and then that scoop on 9 again. So... Let's have another listen. Just so nice, so kind of... I want to say jazzy, I mean it's... it's he's just really uh, lovely at picking out those notes up there. Often it feels so tight and, and small and compressed and it's so hard to get melodic, interesting melodic playing up at the top end, but he, he manages it, it's, yeah, really nice. Okay, so line D now, let's have a listen to that slope down. And again. Okay, so. Okay, so we're going to start with a nine blow that bends down and up, kind of a re reverse bell curve, kind of like a, I don't know, what would you call that? A vase, a pot, a, a bowl. Down. <laughs> And then a little scoop on the eight blow. And then eight blow bend. Seven blow. And then a six, seven draw, that same kind of in breath, just, just to balance the air. And then seven blow. And let's have a listen to it again, because I want to just... Da, 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 uh. 
That seven below sounds so lovely and rich, it's almost like he's playing an octave. Maybe it is an octave, but I've just put it as seven below. So seven blow three times, and then a, the six, seven draw sort of, sort of just inhalation to get the air out of the way, and then the seven blow twice to finish. Okay. So, line E, now let's have a listen, just a short one. But there's a lot going on. Um, when he gets to the five chord, he really comes into his own on getting those notes just really gorgeous. Okay, so. I just think that's gorgeous. So nine blow, and then a nine blow that goes into a bend, nine blow bend, nine draw, nine blow. So. Da, da, do, da, da. And then nine blow bend, uh, sorry, nine blow into a bend, nine blow bend, nine draw, eight blow bend. Yeah. <laughs> and then line F, let's have a listen. Okay. Let's just hear that full speed to hear that vibrato on line at the end of line F. Just gorgeous. And again. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, so we've got eight blow, bit of a kind of scoop up from a bend, and then eight blow bend again, seven blow, that scoop on eight again, twice, and then eight blow bend, seven blow, the little seven, six, seven draw, and then seven blow twice. Ah. <laughs> Keep missing the eight. Okay, and then just to finish this intro, line G, let's have a listen. So I've just got just a little kind of out breath, kind of round holes four to seven, but again, it's kind of rhythmic. If you hear it fast, you'll hear it's just Just a sort of uh, kind of rhythmic little ta, ta, da, da, da. and then I've got four and seven blow octave. Again, I almost put an octave earlier with the uh, some of the seven blows I put and I'm never 100% sure when it comes to octaves up the top end I think sometimes it's hard to hear with, especially with um, kind of a full band behind it. Um, anyway, so I put a seven, a four and seven blow octave. You could just play the seven blow. You could play the top octave if you wanted to, but I put. But it would just work. Just the seven blow or. That top octave would be nice. You'd probably want to play the that little out breath higher up. You just play it wherever you are, just just sort of getting out like that. Okay, so that is the end of the intro. Thank you for watching this lesson with me today. If you'd like to learn the full song, there's a great solo later on in the song towards the end, then I have a premium lesson on this song, and you can find out more about that by following the link beneath this video. 
If you enjoy my premium lessons, then do check out my Members Zone. For $19.99 a month, you can get access to all of my premium lessons and tabs. And there's a new premium lesson going up every single week, so that's a growing collection of lessons. If you pay yearly, then you can save two months for absolutely free. So do check out the link to that beneath the video as well. If you enjoyed today's lesson, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get free harmonica lessons every single week. Good luck with your practice and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.